Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. What I want to do today, we're going to use Bitcoin as an example, but we're actually going to do a trading view tutorial. A lot of people have asked where I get my charts from or charting software or whatever, and I, I'm on trading view and I also use the pro version. So guys, what I'm going to dig into, I'm going to teach you how to put on like moving averages and use trend lines and change your candles or colors, all different types of stuff for you. So I'm just going to dig into this. If you like this, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I just want to give a tutorial. I know quite a few people have been asking about it, so I want to do this for you. So guys, first of all, what I want to show you here is how to change your candle colors and also your wicks and volume and all that. So what I do, I go on a candle here, I double click on it, and right here are your candle colors. So say we wanted our bullish color to be green and we wanted our bearish color to be a dark blue there. This is what it, we would go for. So borders, we would also want green. Here's going to be blue. And then here's your wicks. We'll just change those to white. You can change them to whatever color you'd like. Help it stand out a little bit more. So you can do that. And we'll hit OK. And you can see how your candles now, they've changed different colors for you, which is pretty cool. So you can make them all different colors if you get sick of looking at the same color. So again, if we click on double click there, you can go through your scales. And here's all your different scales. You can go for your backgrounds, what color backgrounds you want, if you want your vertical grid lines, anything like that, guys. So say we were to do vertical grid lines and I wanted them white. That's what you're going to start seeing here. All right, so say we wanted these ones white as well. And then here's your grids in the background. I typically don't use them a ton. I really don't need them. Some people really like them. I'm not one to use a ton of them. i rather just have it clear because it's more things that, you know, it can distract you, in my opinion. That's just my thoughts. And then here's your crosshair here. Do you see this one, guys? So we can click on our crosshair. We can turn any color we'd like. If we wanted a green color like that or if we just want to take it, keep it at white, so we'll do white, and then you can also change what it looks like, all different kinds. So we'll just stick with what we have there. Okay, guys, next one, we have our time zones. You have all your different trading options right in here, and then you have your events that you can do. You can adjust data for dividends, all different type stuff, guys. So very valuable information there. All right, so that's how you change all those different types of things. Next thing I want to show you, up here to the left, you have your cross, which I'm on right now. You have a dot like this to move around. For pointing, you also have an arrow to point, which can turn into a finger sometimes. And then you also have your eraser, which is pretty cool. All right, the next one down, we have our trend lines. We have our horizontal lines. So say you just want to draw a trend line here. What you do, guys, look right there. We'll just draw a rough one here. But that's how you draw trend lines through trading views. So you just go right into here, and you can have vertical lines. You can have horizontal lines. You can have rays, arrows, all different types of stuff. It's awesome. And then a lot of you see me use the Fibonacci. This next one's going to be the Fibonacci here. This is where I go to. So right here, this Fibonacci retracement. So that'll just show you how to do that type of stuff. So we'd go from our low to our high. We'd see where we're at there. And I'll just erase some of the stuff to get it off for you. But I'm just showing you basically some of the common tools that I really like to use. Let's see if there's any other ones in here. Guys, no, not so much there. This one's going to have your rectangle so you can draw boxes. So you can say like an area like that if you want to be able to do that. Okay, so boxes are really good, the rectangles, and then remember we just erase it. So you have rectangles, rotated rectangles, triangles, curves, arcs, all different types of stuff. Here's your text if you want to start writing stuff like uh, you can put your high or your low in here and write it up here for your people. Then here's all different types of arrows. We have this, this your Elliott Wave type stuff, guys, where you put your one, one, two, three, four, five ABC correction. We have all that triangle patterns, ABCD patterns. So I mean, Trading View really, truly, guys, has it all. Then this here, what I like to use, we have our date range, we have our forecast, long position, short position. We have our price range tool, which can kind of show you how much something ran up. So like there, that was basically almost a 40% move right there to the upside so that's something that i like to pay attention to is using that price range tool here's all your arrows and different signals that you can use so you can see there's tons of them there that you can go through this is a, a measure so you can measure different things this is your lock and if you want your lock on so we can put a strong magnet it'll just lock onto the prices that are down here or up here whatever it can lock onto it'll lock onto guys in terms of price is what I'm talking about. Okay, so there's that. You can lock all your different drawing tools, different things like that. And then what I wanted to show you here, which is pretty cool. So we have, this can be a bar chart here. This can be candles like I like to use. You can use hollow candles. Let's see, you can use a line graph. 
which is pretty interesting as well. I like using the line graph. Um, you can do areas. Take a look at that, guys. Baseline. So just all different types of stuff. Typically, I just stick to candles. That's more so what I like to stick to. All right. Next one, indicators. So this is going to be like your RSI. If you want to do your RSI, you can throw that up on there. So that's going to be under indicators, what you're seeing here. Also, guys, I like to use the MACD. So I type in MACD right here. And you can click on that. So basically, these are just all your different type of indicators. You see, we're starting to get a cross down through there right now. So that's something I'm paying attention to as well. But, you know, guys, for the indicators, there's so many. The ones that I recommend, I like using moving averages. I like to use um, the Bollinger Bands, the RSI, MACD, that type of stuff. So I, I usually stick to about seven or eight of them. That's just what I like to do. You know, I'm a, I'm a patient guy. I don't want to have a ton of different indicators up there. And then also with these moving averages, I like to have on our 20 EMA in orange. I like to have on our 50 moving average. I like the 100 and the 200. And I can do that because I have the pro version, just to remind you about that. And how you would change these, you would go into your settings, just like that. And then you can change the input of it. And then you can also change the style of it. You know, guys, and this is what I like to use. And then you have your volume down here. If you want to ever change your volume, we could change that. So let's do growing in white. And then falling in red, so you can change that. And then that's your moving average, volume moving average. So, you know, guys, these are just some of the things that I like to look at. Also, the alerts you can have. You can set different alerts to where, okay, if Bitcoin crosses this area here, add an alert. I want to know about it. So, you know, it's pretty interesting stuff that you can do here or to the downside, guys. Okay, if Bitcoin breaks that, add an alert. So you'll be alerted to it. You can get back to your chart and you can keep moving on, you know. So that's that's pretty interesting stuff. I like it. And then also you have where you can change up here. So say let's go to Litecoin and take a look. And that's how you change stuff just like that, guys. So, you know, that's what I wanted you to, to look at here, pay attention to. And I just wanted to bring it to your, your mind here. You know, a lot of people have asked me about what do you use for trading or charting? And this is what I like to use. I like to use TradingView. And right now it's actually looking like Litecoin is getting a nice little bounce off the 20 EMA here. We're going to have to see if that continues. Let's move into the one day or the one hour here. And it's looking like we are getting that upside move right now. You can see that there. We kind of broke up through that 100 day moving average on the one hour. And now we're going to have to see we do have some swelling volume right now. So guys, let's pay attention to this and let's see what happens. Right now, we are at $83 for Litecoin. See what happens, guys. Take care, my friends. I hope this helped you.